In this video, we'll show you how we can machine a uh, slot <coughs> from uh, an STP file. So I've started the PM3D module now. So I'll import the STP file that we've got. OK, so that's the slot that we need to machine. Uh, there's two ways we could do this. Um, the first one is to create a contour which is a single line and then associate with that a profile in the z-axis which represents that and then machining would take place along here or we can just have a z-profile which represents the slot and then machining can take place like that. Uh, so, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, there's a couple of ways doing it uh, so I'll just show you one method so the first thing I need to do is I need to orientate the uh, the model so that uh, the face is in the XY plane so the first thing we'll do is we'll select the model and we'll orientate it uh, in the XZ plane to put it on its end that's that uh, so now we just need to shift it around in X and Y. And we'll make that minus 90. <clears throat> OK, so now when we look at that in the XY plane, that's what I need. Uh, so I'll uh, just select that face. That's the face we're going to take into the CAD system. And we'll make the geometry origin the bottom left hand corner. But we can set up exactly where we want the uh, um, uh, origin for machining to be when we get into the. Okay, so that's the shape. <clears throat> now, obviously, we only need to machine. <clears throat> pardon me, uh, a certain part of that. So let's um, just extract that back into its. Uh, lines and arcs and now we'll um, create a profile of that so we'll make the datum point there and we'll create a profile I'll just zoom in on there which starts on that curve there and finishes there so that's just the curve that we're going to take through into machining <clears throat> Okay, so <clears throat> we check on the tool change position and the other parameters that we need. So let's define a tool first of all. Uh, probably have a ball nose tool. Um, so 0.375, and we'll make it 2.5 with a cut depth of 2. Okay, so that's just set up a, a, a ball nose uh, end mill. Select that tool for use, set the spindle speed and the feed rates that we want to use. If we want to switch on the cooling, that's where we do it here. Okay, so what we need to do now is we'll just uh, create a Z profile. I'll switch on centerline mode and then the Z profile. This is the name of the profile that we want it uh, to follow. And then we can either have just a single slot or we could create a surface. So if we create a ruled surface and then we set up the distance between the cuts, we set the total number of cuts and then if we want to we can machine in the alternative direction. Okay, so we want to animate the tool So as the tool is going around there, it's using the um, vector tolerance to <clears throat> specify the uh, <clears throat> pardon me uh, the uh, the accuracy that it's going to be using. Okay, so when we're doing that, if we wanted to, we can set the accuracy to a much 
larger value. So if we're roughing it, uh, we don't need it quite so accurate. Uh, so that's uh, machining it in one direction. As I said, we can always um, produce a single line contour, which represented uh, the linear shape, and then that would be machined uh, that way around. So that gives you uh, an idea as to how we have to machine that from a step. Forward.